Human rights group Dignity South Africa says the High Court ruling, which granted advocate Robin Strantham Ford the right to die by euthanasia, had given them a brief glimmer of hope. But the recent appeals court decision ruling that assisted suicide remains against the law in South Africa means they are back to square one. The Supreme Court of Appeal ruling was very, very disappointing. But when you're seeking a law change, you have to be prepared for the long haul and not be set back by these disappointments. We're ready for the long haul. We're going to keep continuing campaigning for this law change. We're now considering two options, either going to the Constitutional Court or going to Parliament. The South African government says it appealed against the 2015 right to die judgment as it feared that assisted suicide legislation would be open to abuse. But terminally ill Chris Calden, who lives in the town of Swellendam outside Cape Town, is angry. Of course I was angry. I'm just terribly upset about that court case. But it's a big issue. I know it's a big issue, but why don't they just say, right, uh, every case on its merits then. And, and if a man comes here with his lawyer and with his uh, uh, doctor, okay. and I can still talk, but I don't, don't want to have any illegal uh, situation here. The once active 70-year-old says living with motor neuron disease has robbed him of the use of nearly all his muscles. He's physically dependent on his wife, his hospice nurse and others for everything from brushing his teeth to using the bathroom and being carried to and from his bed. The Justice Ministry says a decision on assisted suicide could have far-reaching implications on the constitutionally entrenched right to life, as well as the common law crimes of murder and culpable homicide, and has called the court's decision to deny citizens the legal right to die a victory. Renard Alcom, CCTV, Swellendam, in South Africa's Western Cape Province.